Hey, it's Uvalde Radio, New Year's Eve special extravaganza. I'm Robert Miguel from KVOU 104.9 Coyote Country. We got Special K over here. Corinna's over here, too. Make some noise. Come on. Woo! It's a party. Let's see. I think I got a guy on the phone here. Let's see if he's here. Hey, is it Jarrett? Hey, it's Jarrett. Jarrett from Bowling for Soup. What's up, buddy? Nothing, man. Hey, you're on the radio. It's our big New Year's party. Thank you so much for checking in, bro. Oh, no worries, man. Happy New Year to you. Okay, so we got Jared uh, Reddick, the singer for Bowling for Soup um, from Dallas, Texas, old buddy of mine from my old radio days when I did rock. But uh, hey, real quick, hey, Jared, I'm going to put on the phone with you. We got a great station here in town, uh, 93.9 Hits, and my good friend here, Special K, plays your music all the time on her afternoon show. Let me let me get you to say hi to Special K, okay? Sounds good. Hey, Jared, how are you doing? Hey, Special K, how are you? I'm great. Oh, it's so great to talk to you. I can't tell you. I actually have a lot of requests for... In specific, uh, 1985, all the time, almost every day. Love that. I love it. The it's a song that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. So I had a few questions, if you don't mind. Um, first of all, I was wondering, I was talking to Robert earlier, and um, I was wondering how you got, because you are the voice for the mascot for Chuck E. Cheese, the new Chuck E. Cheese mascot, correct? Yeah, I've been him for like five years now. Um, you know, it was it was very organic the way that it happened. The advertising companies from Dallas that got the that, that started doing the mouse, the the new mouse, and uh, I had done improv comedy with a couple of the guys that were on the account, and they knew that I could sing, and they wanted to make the mouse more of like a rock star character. So um, I never even auditioned. I just got the job. Cool. Uh, in fact, the first time I was ever in there, I thought I was auditioning, but I was actually cutting commercials. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's it's great fun. It's been really fun to develop him and like you know anybody who's a Chuck E. Cheese fan or if you have kids, that sort of seen the evolution of 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 how cool he is now. And uh, it's yeah, it's been a blast. It really has been, and and really super nostalgic for me because I love Chuck E. Cheese as a kid. Of course. I mean, also, okay, I wanted to ask you, uh, because I'm a big fan of Disney, so I know that you guys do the theme song for Phineas and Ferb, and I was wondering how you got into that, if you were approached, if you auditioned. No, um, again, super organic. The two creators of that show both, both worked on The Simpsons together, um, and apparently in the writer room at The Simpsons, they were, they were all big Bowling for Soup fans. And um, we were the first choice to do the song. And so I got flown in and went and did the meetings with, with them when it was just still an idea, um, you know, 11 or 12 years ago this was. And, um, you know, they asked me if I wanted to, to try and, and turn what they had of, of a theme song into a full song and then sing it for the show. And that same day I got the audition to play Danny on the show, so I'm the singer for Love Handle and Got to write a bunch oh, of love handle so songs cool. throughout the years, and uh, it's that was just an absolute blast. And, and you know, one, one, uh, something that finally made me cool with my own kids was uh, Phineas and Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have to ask you, who's your favorite character? I guess other than Danny. Uh, okay, well, I was going to thought you were going to say. Okay, so uh, I'd have to go with Carl. I love Carl. You know, I just <laughs> think he's hilarious all the time, and I, I think. Uh, they do a really good job of, of, of making all their characters super interesting and giving them their own stories and stuff like that. Um, but uh, definitely Carl, my favorite. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Everybody knows now. Hey, hey, um, Jerry, when are you coming to South Texas, man? You going to be in San Antonio anytime soon? We'll be there for uh, for work tour this year. Sweet. Uh, in mid-July. We'll be there be, be in San Antonio, actually. So uh, not, not, not too far off but in terms of planning for us. So... Uh, it's, you know, for Bowling for Seat, that's right around the corner, so should, and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, awesome. We'll all be there. Is there any other side projects that you're working on? Anything else we can look forward to? Yeah, you know, I, my podcast is doing great. It's called Derek Knows the Movies. Every um, every week we do a new episode, and we pick a movie, and we basically talk about it, and, uh, you know, other hijinks. It's, it's definitely not kid-friendly, but... Uh, <laughs> Hey, I was just telling her, I was like, man, when you go see a Bowling for Soup, don't expect a kid's show. Those guys are tossing well, out you know, the... It's, it's certain, certain shows. It depends on where you're seeing right, it. Right, right, yeah. If you're seeing us at like a fair or something like that, then yeah, we, we tone it down a little bit. But uh, if you're seeing us in a bar... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's for sure. It is really interesting because I've seen you many times over the years, and when I saw you in Deep Ellum, it's like just a crazy, raunchy show. But then I'll go to like uh, some festival in Grapevine with my daughter, and it's totally, you know... Uh, squeaky clean and I, I do appreciate it as a parent sir <laughs> yeah you know i mean we're all parents and you know it's, you know the thing is, is that we look at it like this our, the, the 
people that listen to us, you know, we, we're kind of that band that parents and kids agree on. So topically, they know what they're getting into. So we don't really run into a lot of a lot of trouble with, you know. I mean, obviously, when when 1985 was killing it on Radio Disney and and uh, Phineas and Ferb was out, we had a, a much younger audience. You know, I sort of compare it to Eddie Murphy, um, you know, doing Gumby on Saturday Night Live, and then people going to see him thinking that's what they were going to get. You know, it's, it's oh, definitely yeah. not what his show was like, but. Uh, but yeah, um, Derek goes to the movies. Um, you can subscribe to that anywhere. And um, you know, I've, I've you know, as always, Bowling Pursuits totally busy all the time. I'm, I'm managing this this band of girls that everybody should check out called Not Your Girlfriends. Uh, if you follow me on any of the socials, J A R T T two one one three, you can see links to their stuff. And you know, that's just me staying busy all the time. All right. So before you go, if you could please wish everyone here in Uvalde, Texas, a very happy New Year's. That'd be great. Absolutely. Happy New Year. Hey, guys, it's Jarrett from Bowling for Soup. Happy New Year to everybody down in South Texas. Uh, miss you guys. Hope to see you very, very soon. In fact, we'll be around sooner than you think. Have a very blessed 2018, and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Yes. All right, man. Thank Appreciate you. you, bro. Thanks for checking in. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was so great to hear hear from you and, and to hear those stories. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to tell my son. Anytime. Hit me up anytime. I'm, I'm always around. Hey, it's Uvalde Radio New Year's Eve.